have gone expert. Hey! Also psychic, Batam. Alright, so what changes are you guys making? What are you putting your 14 into? I'm putting my 14 into my intelligence. A wise move. And uh, I'm also going engine crew background. I'm also going to take my 14 in. in. <clears throat> okay. Psychic is intelligence or charisma, right? Yep. I'm going to choose I know charisma. It's intelligence too. and constitution. No, oh, it's wisdom it? and constitution. It's wisdom. Yeah. For psychics? Yes. Hmm, what was my stats? So, wisdom and wisdom constitution. Of intelligence. Yeah. Hey, my constitution is 13 and my wisdom is a 9, so I'll put that 14 in the wisdom. <laughs> Alright, so anything under an 8 is a negative, right? I think so. Yeah, they still have any negatives. Yep. Uh, 4 to 7 is a minus 1. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put mine into dicks then. So that gives it a plus 1. Okay. Didn't you already have a good dex? Uh, you had a no. Dex, right? No, I had a twelve dex. Oh, okay. I mean, like, cause does that do a plus one? No. You're you're going for the plus one, which is fine. Yeah, I'm going for the plus one. All right. Let's talk background packages. Yeah. These are the uh, sets level. of skills that players start with. I went with engine crew and military psychic. Yeah, I'm gonna love the background story for that one. So that's your background package and your training package is military psychic. Yeah, militant psychic. I I'm guessing you probably there. you probably attended the Powers Institute. I'm thinking, or you could be trained, you know, from a specific world. We'll find yeah, out. Yeah, I I chose Marco IDs just because it has an actual psionic institute. Okay. Mm -hmm. nice. um, so, I picked uh, for my background uh, adventure, and I'm taking athletics, um, combat projectile, and culture spacer. <coughs> yeah, adventure is the one where you get to pick your own stuff, but you don't get as many. Yeah, you only get four instead of six. Yeah, no, you get three instead of four. Oh, really? Wow, that yeah. super sucks, man. So yeah, but I you guess, get to choose. That's the yeah. catch. Yeah, the project. Yeah, the background. You get backgrounds. You only get four things. So, all right. At least what I was offered. At least. Who else has a background slash training they like to share? I have the background of com crew, and my training is also uh, my training is my training is bounty hunter. Okay, that's a good one to pick. You're an I, expert, right? I'm an expert. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. I think I'd like to build a backstory with your character, Henley, and with like being your like. He wants to be the peony to your Higgs. The sidekick <laughs> character. Yeah, right. No, I can totally get down with that. Oh. Hey, we um, my with husband. <laughs> not a very. What do your culture give you anyway? Very Irish woman. Culture is like um, if you want to like roll like to see if you know people. So like culture criminal would be if you have contacts with him. Yeah, the criminal society who can help you do things. Or for instance, if I'm a, I have culture space, or so I'm like, uh, do I know anyone who has like an interstellar ship that I can jump on, sort of thing? You know, like that sort of stuff. Because I'm stuck between academy graduate and healer, and I'm like, huh? What do they offer you? I mean, like the ba the most Boy important thing. One gives me com combat psychic tech. Uh, well, okay, persuasion? so the way that the way that this works. Um, is you need to get you, you need to get your your positives up for your skills. So, for example, at the end of all of this, I will have um, anything you have uh, taken a skill in, like a class skill, will be zero when you try to roll it. But if you take it twice, if you take one in your background and one in your training, then you'll get a plus one on it. So any <laughs> skill you don't have training in is a negative one, basically. Yeah, it's rough. Yeah. Because so I didn't when, see you training, when you, I was like, uh... The background, the, the psychic training packages are what you're picking. That's the academy graduate and the healer. But the background is the one above it, which is open for everyone. Which is like, 
a few pages up. So that's like, you know, what did you say you're taking? You're taking like leadership or something like that? I, I wanted to be a healer, like, you know, drop a shield right. down and heal my teammate. So you're looking for healer then. Um, so maybe like, uh, where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Bio, no. Um, so there's one here I know that has healing. Is it, what type of healing is it, by the way? Is it just healing? Uh, let me see. The psychic healing. Uh, yeah. It says tech, psychic tech, or tech medic. So you want tech medic? I okay, so there's, there's, there's one, the one here called biotech crew, which is tech medical. You get culture space, or science, tech, astronautic, and tech medical. So basically, when you roll a tech medical well, skill see, the check... the thing is, if he takes yeah. biopsionic as his discipline to mm. heal people, tech medical doesn't do very much for him. Okay, so he needs like a, a, a background that does that then. Well, that's kind of rough because no, you don't really no get that. There's no real yeah. skill roll involved with most of those. You can take, for example, um, Adventurer, which is like um, background choice for those who prefer their own skills. So basically, you get culture, world... Or culture spacer and any two skills you can choose from. Well, what were the two that you were looking at, Dom? Uh oh, we lost Dom. That's no good. All right. Um, who else needs help with theirs? I guess. I think everybody else picked their uh, their packages. Hmm. We got to pick a home world. So if people want to list, yeah, I got one out real quick, and then um, the description from it. So, uh, Jim, uh, my home world is uh, I don't know how to say this. Ten Tan Tandaros, is that, is that? Tandarius. Tandarius, and I was there as a um, military personnel, military police. Uh, you know, basically maintaining the uh, status quo between uh, the higher ups and the uh, civilians on the ground, basically. Okay, Tin. Uh... Darius is an autocracy with a major noble family controlling each of the city ships that sails the world. Small conflicts here are often fought over resource rights at platforms set between cities, with the winners taking control of the loser city. As a strong internal military, but few space forces. It's tech level four. <clears throat> Who would like to share their planet? I am from... <clears throat> Adiba, Adiba, is that how it's pronounced? Yep. And I, and it, uh, on Adiba, the planet is toxic, or the, 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 or has been intoxicated. So I actually am from the uh, living out in the asteroid field, uh, out where they make it's a major shipyard, and so I have been well versed in working on shipboard, uh, thus my expertise in comms and 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 tech, or computers, uh, uh, on ships. Uh, by the way, the skill section of this thing is kind of funky. The fact that it doesn't line up quite right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So maybe, I don't know, is this something that you can edit? Maybe just remove, like, the combat slash thing there? Or remove, like, the weapons from the, the name of the, the lines there? Because that would fix it up. Yeah, I can't edit it. You can't? Yeah. I mean, it's written in API, right? Like someone programmed yeah. it that way. Okay. Uh, and which planet were you from? Oh, right. You were describing the asteroid field that you... You were born in space, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're one of the privileged few. I'm trying to add Dom back. going to be working. Mm. That's not good. God. We might have to restart the call. Nope, there he is. There he is. Hey, Dom. Welcome nope. back. All right, Dom. Yeah, weird. So what I was going to ask was uh, your training package. What were the two that you were looking into? For me? I was looking at the academy graduate and the healer. Okay. So, I mean, what's academy any... graduate going to give you? It gives me psychic, combat psychic tech, uh... I think it's persuasion or P E R S U A D. Yeah. Uh, tech Meg, uh, Medic, and Tech Psychic. Okay. Psych. 
and the healer is cultural anything, perception, tech, psych tech, and uh, tech medic. Okay. Uh, medical. So, I mean, which one it's, are you leaning like, toward? The thing mm -hmm. is, if you want to be a healer and you have the first biosonic power, I'm pretty sure it just lets you touch somebody who's dying and bring them back to life instantly. That's it. I mean, you don't it, have to no. make a roll for it. The first one, yeah, just to, like, keep them in zero H HP. Yeah. Like, I wanted to kind of make a character that's a doctor and also a psych doctor. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I can medically, like, okay, bandage well, then, you yeah, up. Okay, you're going to want tech medical for that. Yeah, you know, like, bandage you up, and then, like, okay, it didn't work. Psychic powers time. Dr. Psych or MD. Yeah, exactly. Licensed psionic. I feel like that should be a TV show in the game. Dr. Psyker, MD, LP. <laughs> I actually already have a TV show for in in the uh, game here, and you guys, I think, are going to like it if you can figure out what I'm referencing. But, uh, yeah, I mean, which one are you leaning towards, Harder Dom? Both of those obviously give you tech medical, so. Yes, yeah, like, uh, do we have a talker? <laughs> a face? I don't think so. You pick uh, charisma, right? Or something? My charisma is a 10, but, you know, I can also have a skill of persuasion. Okay. Yeah, God, I don't I think can't... anybody else has persuasion. No. I okay, then I... uh, Yeah, I do not. No. I, I should okay, have, then, but uh, I don't have it. Academy uh, graduate it is. All right. You I actually go. have a plus one in Persuade. Oh, okay. Wow, that's intense. Well, you can you can always double up, and someone can clearly aid. I mean, there's never oh, a problem yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which planet did you want to be from, Dom? Uh, whatever the fanciest, like, doctor school is at. Uh, they have a psionic institute on Mercules. Okay. Mercules it's called is... the Powers Institute. It's basically the Jedi Council. Okay, I go there and be like, hey, yeah. I want to be a healer and a doctor. All right, so uh, you and Kai are from the same planet. It's called uh, Mercurlis. It's in the Rag and Hilt system. The government here is puppet to local super corporation. The Powers Institute is an open source psionic academy. Having uncovered teachings from pre-screen times, it adopts an open door policy that has attracted psionics across the sector. It has high tech technology and all government chips are drive three technology. The distance from other nearby systems has kept them out of local conflicts, while the recruiters can travel freely. Psionics are giving basic military training and help control the local superfauna through purges of dire elks. Tech level four. Okay. And I'm probably going to do the ad... Uh-oh. Tech magic medic again. So you're, both your background and your training are both going to have tech medical? Yeah. Okay, so you'll start out with a one. Yeah, it's always good to get that plus one, man. We covered everybody's home worlds, right? Yep. All right. I get persuasion twice, so that's one. That's nice. That sounds good. All right, now everybody yeah. rolls their hit points. Psychics roll D4, experts a D6, and warriors a D8. You add your yeah. con modifier, although I don't think anyone has a positive. Uh, I have a positive in con, but it's not like I don't have a okay. negative. That means I have a D. I have a zero in con, so... Okay, well, a zero on con is not a positive. Oh my god, two. Wow, yep. that's rough. Three. I wish, Yay. I wish I could use I the need, ones I rolled on. I need I a high roll. I need a high roll. Please, for the love of God. To roll a three. Fuck Boom, you! called it! <laughs> uh, I just think I had a one in eight chance it. of predicting that. This is like the hey, roughest go down, ever. I can fix you. I can be yeah. killed by one punch. Well, here's the thing. When you level up, you roll, like, two of your die. So, for example, if I level up and I, I roll 2d8 next time, and if I get, like, 16, it goes from 3 to 16 in one level, like the HP. It's stupid. Yeah. It's so good. So, basically, you roll your maximum hit die every time you level up to sign, find a new con, and as long as it's higher than your previous one, then that's your new HP. So, yeah. There you go. My, yeah. So it's not that bad. So I actually, like, everyone always told me I should watch Cowboy Bebop because someone just mentioned it in the chat. Mm -hmm. You should. It's good. I, I hadn't awesome. watched it until, like, three or four months ago on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
that Big Shots program, the program within a program where the guy's like, howdy, partners, how's it going? And the woman's like, well, yeah. look here, we got ourselves a big bounty. He's like, oh, my, look at the size of that bounty. I was like, yes, this is the best part of the whole show. Yep. Besides the floating space dog. Oh, Eduardo very interesting. the third. Like, his name is, like, fucking humongously long. Like, oh my god, yeah. Alright, so we get languages. Everybody speaks English. Where do we put uh, the thing? Dave, your character speaks Scandinavian. Yeah, nice. Kai and Dom, you guys both speak Indian. And Jim, your Yo. character speaks Mandarin. Where do we put that on this list? Is there, like, an uh, action? I don't know. Script? Is there a note section? Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, the yeah there's notes all the way down at the bottom. Okay, just notes? All right. Yep. All right, psychics. So, what, what did you say? English, common? You speak English, which is the common language, and you oh, okay. speak Scandinavian. Mm. <clears throat> did anyone have a positive intelligence modifier, by the way? Uh, I, I okay. also have a positive intelligence if you have a plus one intelligence... Oh, you wait, can... you're meaning plus one, right? I thought yeah. you meant, like, not negative. No. If you have a plus one, you get to pick another language. Uh, Dave, what is your... Um... Scandinavian. Scandinavian. I'll take that. Okay. Damn, dude, we're like bros. Total bros. You're even better than bros, you're space bros. Psychics, each of you gets a psionic... Main power, and then mm -hmm. a secondary backup power that you can put one point into. So what would you guys like to pick? Being able to see butts. Mm, what? what? Weekend, the butt yes. That sounds beautiful. <laughs> Old butts. By the way, my guy's Very name is butt. Mako Spur, by the way. Just you like that? Spur. Space space jockey reference there? Uh, oh, cool. Alright, that's cool. No one gets it. I'm going with telekinesis primary. Oh, oh, oh. You're okay. going to be like, let me just get that glass of wine real quick. Reach out, it hovers over to you, and you're like, mm, yes, space wine. I am a military psychic, so it makes sense. All right, you gain remote manipulation. You can manipulate any objects visible as if handling it one-handed. You have an effective strength of 10, and you can attack with an object at a minus 2 to hit. Bro, you're totally helping me reload my guns. <laughs> I don't think that's the best use of his talents, but yeah. Well, when, when I'm shooting one gun, I need another guy to reload my oh, other gun. Oh my goodness. And he's just like, I'll just use my psychic hand, bro. And I'm like, sweet. And he reloads my gun. And I'm like, yeah, now reload this gun while I'm shooting the other one. <clears throat> Could you imagine I'm taking... a PFS <sighs> gunslinger dual wielding rifles and having a psionic <laughs> reload all of his guns? And he's yeah. just like... What was that guy from Borderlands 2, Salvador? He's like, ah! The gun, the gun Zerka? Yeah. <laughs> yeah <I'm very laughs> no, I want, I, I want to be a psionic gunslinger. You don't have to have a psionic. You're just reloading them s your, yourself. You're like, all I have to do is reload by pulling this pile of pebbles out. <laughs> just fire pebbles at people. And they're like, oh my goodness! And for my yeah. second one, I was taking teleportation. Teleportation. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh yes. So I, I actually played a game of this once. My GM was absolutely horrible. I was playing a pacifist, so of course he had every enemy in the game target me, so I would leave the game, and he told me that afterwards. He was like, yeah, I don't really want a pacifist in the game, so I really just wanted you to, like, quit. And I was like, wow. This what is this? That's incredibly dickish. Mm. But I was wow. a teleporter, and part of my backstory was like I was in a secret psychic training facility, and I escaped by teleporting to a ship that was doing maintenance nearby, and then I just kept teleporting from place to place until I finally got out of system. Yeah, teleporting yeah. psychic. Teleporting I'm to find back a... guy. I'm trying to find the one for healing, but it's like uh. Oh, Biosonics. Uh, Biosonics, bro. Oh, that's yep. yeah, that's the one I'm doing. What's a good secondary for that? Which one puts up shields? Teleport is always good. Uh, shields, the one huh? that has shields is actually telekinesis. Yeah, you don't get it early on, though. It takes a while to get there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're probably not going to make it out. Dude! Far, so. 
Dude, I have, like, it's Vikings? Oh, yes, yeah, Scandinavian. Mm, I'm a Swedish space Viking. <laughs> oh, my God. But Metasionics might be good because it's, like, bonuses. You have to work together. But yeah. God, can I do a Swedish accent? Fuck. <laughs> so, wait a minute. Which one do we have to work together on? Metasionics. It's psionics that work together. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. On triggering this, uh, Psychic becomes resistant to hostile Psychic forces. You gain a plus two bonus against all hostile saving throws. Yeah, but you have to be really high level for it to start working. Ah. Uh. At level three, you get Metasionic Concert, which is where you guys can start pooling points together. By the way, the rolls aren't showing up on your um, stream anymore. Oh, yeah, that's because I have uh, the handouts open. Cool. We haven't done any uh. rolls for a little while. Mm-hmm. I'm uh, trying to figure out which good secondary that I can combo with the other psychic. So can I roll? Uh... You could do precog, man. That gives you omen, which means uh, whenever you're making a choice, mm. I can let you know whether or not it's going to hurt you, and then it triggers. Yeah. No, that's so precog must have a relatively straightforward choice: opening a box or not opening a box. You receive a distant sense of whether or not the course of that action will result in physical injury or mental distress in the next 10 minutes, according to the GM's best judgment of likely outcomes. You can use it once an hour. Ah, yeah. I'll try that one. I always right. like, like interesting things. Basically, it's like you see all this bad stuff happening around me, and I'm just walking, like, reading a book. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Medical book. There are these, like, precog grenades. I think you have to be level 2 precog psychic, right? But when you throw them, they only hit whatever targets you want to hit. Yeah. So you could throw it into a room with 50 people to hit one person with this grenade. Because you know exactly where to throw it. You've looked into the future. Um, I'm just going to roll my money so I can get started on yep. that. Okay, so everybody gets 400 credits plus Fuck. 100. God yep. damn it. Look at that guy right there. Someone starting with 500. Fucking piece of shit. Uh. <laughs> God damn it, it's like the oh. lowest rolls I could possibly get I'm getting right now. I already rolled that earlier and got a three. Alright, so you have yeah. 700. I actually already purchased all my equipment, so... Well, that's somebody who's prepared to shit. Well, I wanted to roll it on the stream. I know what I want to get, I just... Oh, yeah. 500. So you have 900 total there. Well, I, I rolled it on stream. Yeah, he did. He, it was the first roll he made. Okay, I got 900 gold. It's like, what do I buy? Jim? Yeah. We got you for money-wise. Oh, yeah, what do I need to... D6 times 100 plus 400. Six times... Slash one D6. Does it do the math if I t multiply it? Yeah. It's not like I can see my zeros onto the end of it, so, like, yeah. Ah, Dude, I can see my doctor walking through a battlefield, fixing yeah, people, reading a book. Grenades are floating next to him, and he's just ignoring everything, like, la la la. <laughs> that gets <laughs> terrifying, friend. Toys are in the equipment section of the book, y'all. Yeah? Oh, yes. That's the one thing I didn't do before the stream. There, there's very little gear in this, man. Yeah. So the you thing to remember is on most planets. Not the planet you're starting on. On the planet you're starting on, there's no rules, but on most planets, they'll ask you to remove your armor on planet, but you'll be able to carry weapons freely. But the oh, and laws can change on any planet. Yeah, because gun ownership of the future, everyone's got a gun. That's fine. But if you're wearing armor, you're clearly intending to start trouble. Oh, and don't uh, yeah. purchase a suit ripper, because that is illegal everywhere. Damn it. Fuck. Buy a suit. Are you gonna are you gonna let people share money at the start by curious? Hmm. I don't think during character creation, but as soon as the game starts, you could turn to somebody and be like, "Hey, I need 100 credits." Because I literally just guy. like to get my two weapons. I literally just busted everything and I have 50 credits. Left. Down on your down on your luck, man. Yeah. Hard. Hey, I'm a doctor. That's why I'm bling blinging. <laughs> And of course, Jim is probably like, "Yeah, yeah, man, I just I program all the time." And maybe so. How do how credits. do we do weapon ammunition in this thing? Um, because it doesn't really have anything about buying ammunition too much. Yes, it does. Yeah, yeah. It's, where it's does below. it? Below. Don't just say below. I need to know. <laughs> like uh, where? 
<laughs> it's in exploration gear, ammunition, 20 rounds. Yep. Costs 10 yeah. credits. Oh, fuck me. That's like, I got one bullet there. All right. Um, exploration gear, you said? Yeah, it's page uh, 41. 41. It's actually the top of the chart. All right, so it literally just like all ammunition is just ammunition. Just yeah, like, except for like laser rifles and shit, right? Because sometimes yeah. they need batteries. Armed undersuit. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, energy rifles, I think, need type A batteries. So what is my... um? Do I get like a higher AC because I'm warrior? I think it's like... No, I don't think it changes your AC. Really? No. God damn, I'm not going to have enough money to get armor and weapons. That's fucking terrible. Well, just shoot first, right? <laughs> well, I got like three HP, so that's not an option either. No, like... shoot first. That's fine. <sighs> I need to get armor or else I'm going to die. I don't want to die. Well, what are your two weapons? I was going to get a mag pistol and a stun baton. Oh. Yeah, you should probably get a pistol. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what the only thing that I'm getting. And it's well, like you're literally. Paired, you're like, paired with two healing psychic, or at least one healing psychic, right? So, you know, just in case you accidentally kill someone, you're fine. Yeah. Okay, I buy me some. The stun baton is like thunder. 50 bucks, man. It's literally nothing. The mag pistol is 400, though. That's the. That's where it comes down. Try to prohibit the guard. Hey, I have no weapons. I just want the armor because I don't want to get shot. I'm very I fragile. Wear, no. I can wear like no. mail. <laughs> it's like a um, suit of armor. Like, shh, 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 shut up. I'm a space Viking. <laughs> show, show my business card. I'm a doctor. Tech level I don't want one. Any trouble. Yeah, I just want to live. One. Oh, God. Well, it's tech level one or tech level four. Well, I'm going to just get a leather jacket, man. What's up? That'll Me too. Yeah. We're just yep. Yeah, we both like we got like matching leather jackets and stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> you guys have like an insignia. Is that so? Is the name of your squad the Tunnel Snakes? It's it's what? gonna be Sky Sword for sure. Sky definitely. Sword. Yeah. Man. Are you sure? Cause you don't know what that means yet, and it definitely means something. I'll oh, let okay. you in on a secret. Uh, as as uh, some of you guys might know, but the player or the audience doesn't yet is that there's a rogue AI that controls a four-planet empire named mm. Thorn Thistle, And uh, the name of the flagship of his fleet is called the Kalum Gladium, the Sky Sword. It is a tech level five carrier filled with robotic AI fighter bombers. Oh. You may not want to call yourself the... Well, no, you could call yourself the Sky Sword. Yeah, that'd be fine. As long as you didn't call yourself the Kalen Gladium. No, we'll, we'll call... Uh, we'll, we'll, We're the whatever, we'll, Snakes. Whatever we tunnel do. Tunnel Snakes do rule. 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 Don't tunnel start Snakes. That. Don't start that. Don't the please. Tunnel Snakes dance well, is awesome, man. Don't, don't start that, please. Please, <laughs> please don't. Please don't. Yeah, monoblades really like use more useful for me because I can like teleport up and then just stab them. <laughs> well, I could be a spy. Need I need I remind Fortress. everyone? Well, literally bounty hunters. So the reason I took a stun baton is to like you know unconscious a motherfucker. So like, yeah. So, I'm trying to find more fun weapons, killing them like, than I'm bringing looking. them back. Yeah. You can if literally you kill them. Kill I'll people. fix them. It's a legitimate strategy. You can literally so, kill people repeatedly. Repeatedly. Ooh, a medic kit. Buy me this medic kick. I'm just Ooh, saying uh, the comm guy might want to get comm pads and a comm server for everybody. Oh, I have a data slab. Oh, okay. All right. But I don't have a data slab. That's the problem. I literally can't afford anything else. So. <laughs> None of us can afford a comm server. <laughs> well, you need like you need like a data pad or something to interact with it. By the yeah. way, in ammo section, are we just putting down the magazine size? Like, what are we yeah. doing now? You get twenty of the magazine, right? So. Oh, we actually get we actually get ammunition when we purchase this thing. I think right. Don't you get two mags when you buy a gun? I'm, I'm not wrong about that. I oh, I you know what? I'm thinking like magazine no, size. No. I'm thinking dark heresy because I was just reviewing the rule book. Yeah, you have to buy two clips for, or however many clips you want. Yeah, it doesn't come with anything. I'm trying to find melee weapons. Wait, is mag is, ammun is ammunition just like one 
like ten dollars is one bullet? No, it's one magazine for whatever weapon you use. Right? I don't know, man. Wait, Expression what? gear says yeah, cost, cost ask one. Ask the question again. Uh, asking... Twenty rounds. Okay, no, it's twenty rounds. It's twenty rounds. Yeah, yeah. For whatever you're using. All right, yeah, that makes sense. But you'd like, yeah, 